Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Oh, Joe, yeah. Mike Thomas said Russell Wilson is in the pole position at quarterback mm -hmm. and the team has been transferred in the pecking order. Mm -hmm. When it comes to letting Fields know that he'll have a chance to compete when they feel it's the right, it's, it, it, it is the right time. Yeah. Wilson has a lot of experience in terms of what it takes to be the guy over the course of a 12 month calendar. Mm -hmm. I just think there's something to a younger guy that both that uh like Justin can learn from Tomlin saying, okay, the pecking order, pole position, that means you've earned the right to be, to in be the, the number to one be the starter. Right. That don't mean that's the way it's going to end up now. I, you, you, that's right. That's right. Now, so now what kind of leash is Mike Tomlin giving him? How long is the leash? Is it a short leash or is it a long leash? Is it is it a medium sized leash? So right a now, dollar, a huh? million dollar leash ain't that long. Oh, I'm with, I'm with you when you're right. I'm with you. <laughs> a million right, dollar it, leash ain't that long, a, a, Listen, a million dollar leash isn't that long. But what Russ, the situation Russell Wilson is going to is in his favor by yes. much. You know, God, God say he has favor, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he has it for Russell Wilson because the, the situation that he's going into is in his favor. For one, remember the organization you're going to. You're going to a winning organization. You're going to a winning coach. They have the pieces offensively where you'll be able to hide any weaknesses that he may have. Any weakness that he may have at this point in the career will be taken care of. Russell Wilson is going to be fine. And I'm saying this as a, as a, a, as a Bengal legend and allegiance to my Bengals. He is going to be fine. So, and, he, and again, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Patrick Mahomes sat behind Alex Smith for a year. Yep. There's nothing wrong with Justin Fields, who I believe is going to be the quarterback of the future for the Pittsburgh Steelers, sitting behind Russell Wilson and taking some of the small nuances and what it takes to be a leader from someone who was a perennial playoff playoff quarterback, yes. and, a quarterback and, a, and a Super Bowl champion. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing well, let at me all. Take, can I? Can I? Play devil's advocate. Yes, sir. The difference between Patrick Mahomes' situation and Justin Fields, Patrick Mahomes came in as a rookie. Justin Fields going into his fourth year. Yeah, I know what you mean. Aaron Rodgers came right. in as a rookie. Mm -hmm. Justin Fields is going into his fourth year. Right. And he's been a starter for the lion's mm -hmm. share of his, much, the better part of his career. So it's a different mindset. Right. Being a rookie, not starting, mm -hmm. not all of a sudden being thrust mm -hmm. in, as opposed to being mm -hmm. a starter and right. going to the bench and waiting your turn. And see, maybe this is a good thing, though. The fact that he had to come in, it was thrown to the Sharks. The fact that he had to come in, it was thrown to the rule, the Wolves. And matter of fact, he was he he went to an organization. Can you tell me the last time that the Chicago Bears organization from top to bottom have developed a decent quarterback? No. At what point? At, at what point, at any point in their in their historic franchise have they done right by any quarterback and put the pieces around them so they they could succeed offensively when when you when you think of the chicago's bear the chicago bears what do you think of what think about they Defense. call it the monster they think of the, the monsters the, of the midway the monsters of the midway i think of goddamn refrigerator perry i think of jim mcmahon walter payton and goddamn the peanut punch but it was the defense, the 46 defense, mm -hmm. Richard Dent, mm -hmm. Mike, Mike Singletary, Singletary, Mike Singletary, Hampton, McMichael, yep. mm -hmm. Wilbur Marshall, yep. Leslie, uh, uh, I think Leslie Frazier was on that team. Doug Wait, what's Plank. Leslie Frazier? The, the DB. Wait, Leslie Frazier, that was my D coordinator at Cincinnati? Yeah, D played in the league. Wait, I ain't no less play for the goddamn uh, Bears? <laughs> you serious or you bull, or you bull jiving? I would lie to you, Joe. Man, I ain't no, I ain't no less yeah. played uh, DB. Damn, I wish I knew him that while he was uh, in Cincinnati. I would make it line your ass up on out here, man. Let me see what you man, got. Hey, he put something on you. Let yeah, he was hell. He was hell. Something. He was hell back then, huh? He didn't have to hold up long. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that, that D line was crazy. Out. Yeah, that D line was crazy. Damn, that's a good one. That's dope. That's dope to know. That's dope to know. Yeah. So, uh, it's gonna be very interesting. It's different. Uh, it's one thing, Ocho, to be to come in and says, okay, I don't really know. I don't know what I know. And he has to learn the offense. Yes, uh, it's not like Russ has a substantial advantage over him other than he's been in the league a lot longer. Trying right. to understand the nuances of it. But we both have to learn a new system. 
and mm-hmm. go from there. But to go from a starter, mm-hmm. you, hey, you did it when you went to, when you went to New England. It Ooh. was a different role for you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, used yeah, to, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, yeah. offense up. Yeah, you head to the field. Now yeah. all of a sudden, you stand on the sideline. Yeah. You got to keep your legs warm. Mm-hmm. You got to keep your mind sharp. Yeah. You might not play for one or two, three series. Mm-hmm. Then you going in on third down. You yeah. ain't got no rhythm. Mm-hmm. It's at different. All. At all. And you know, it's, it's so funny. Now that you just brought that up, I, I always thought about it. You would think. So if I had the choice during that time, obviously, if we were in control of our destiny in general, for me, uh, per se, during that time when I got traded to the Patriots, many people would say, you know what, I wouldn't, that's not a place I would have chosen to go to, huh? If you think about yeah. it. No, hell from no. A, for, listen, from an offensive perspective, people say, man, are you crazy? Boy, you going to play with Tom Brady. But but listen, Tom Brady also had players that were already there that understood the system. Deion Branch, for one. You had Wes Welker. Mm-hmm. Stay with me now. You had Julian Edelman, too. Gronk. Then you had Gronk. And you had Aaron Hernandez. I'm like, come on now. God, and, I mean, it just, it just, it just, it just wasn't the right fit. Sometimes in life, sometimes in life, some people say, oh, you just plug a player in and you just go. It just, it just, it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't fit, but I, didn't I didn't have a choice. What, it didn't fit what you did because right. that offense worked from inside out. Side out. Thank how, how come you it's only us that under, how, how come it's only us that understand that? <laughs> and unless your unless your last name is Moss, that's the only way. If you were an outside receiver who predominantly plays on the outside, yes. you're going to see that type of production that we're used yeah. to seeing. But hey, it yeah. worked though. It worked. Yeah. But, it worked. But but Moss, he talking about one of the top three receivers that ever played the game. Uh, all, the all, time. <laughs> all time. All uh, time. Which is why I said that unless, unless you yeah. Moss, and there will be no recreation or reincarnation of him and nobody else. But you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like, I do. But again, it, it was a great experience, though. It was oh, it was a phenomenal experience. Yeah. But th- but that's that's the difference. And a lot of people say, man, why would LeBron uh-huh. do a podcast with JJ? Because there are certain things, uh-huh. nuances to the game right. that only somebody that played the game, played the game could possibly knows. understand. Right. Me and people like Shannon, he should have did a podcast with you. Know to do what? <laughs> He and I can't talk basketball on that level, just like he can't talk football on the level you and I are having the discussion. Right, right. Because if I say LeBron, they came out in the overfront, <laughs> and they look like they go. He go like well, over what? Over what front? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Over front or under front? You know right. what I'm saying? They go. They go. You know they're gonna run a uh, uh, cover five, right. which is twenty two man. He don't know what cover five is. Right, right, right. If we say they run, you know they're gonna run six kick. Mm-hmm. Six kick. So it's there's nuances to a discussion mm-hmm. that I do. I have a general knowledge and an understanding of basketball. Yes. Mm-hmm. But there are certain things that only a person that have played the game mm-hmm. could possibly understand. Right. You and I have a conversation said, if you look at the Patriots offense and the way it's always been, it's always. been an inside out type of an offense yep. with the exception of the two to three years that Randy was there. Was there but yeah. if you look at Brady, he mainly worked between the numbers. Numbers, right. Yeah. And that and that's okay, but there are mm-hmm. certain nuances to a discussion that only someone is like. Uh, we were having the discussions, uh, 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 Ocho, about Michael B. Jordan. He mm-hmm. says it's hard finding someone to understand right. that you you got this craft and you got a, a gift, and you, you know you want to, you know you need somebody to understand your sacrifice. I'm always a believer. That's yeah. why movie stars marry other movie stars. Mm. Because they know what it's like to sacrifice because they've been in a situation where they've asked somebody that wasn't in the business to sacrifice and they couldn't possibly understand. Yeah. So when you and I have a conversation, a more nuanced conversation, mm-hmm. we don't really get too in depth because mm-hmm. that's that's not what we try to do. We're yeah, not trying to, yeah. I'm not trying to impress you with my football knowledge. Right. I think it goes without saying, play the game the way I played, as long mm-hmm. as I played. I think most fans understand that I have a great understanding mm-hmm. of the game of football, the X's right. and O's. Just like LeBron, I mean, you're talking about the brain. There, yeah. there might there might not be four or five players in the history of the game mm-hmm. that has a better understanding of the game mm-hmm. that played the game than LeBron. Right. And then JJ played, you played 14, 15 years like JJ. Obviously, they can have a nuanced conversation mm-hmm. that LeBron and I could never have. Right. And especially that that's just about basketball. They don't talk about anything else other than basketball. Mm-hmm. 
we talk about a lot of other things other than football. <laughs> <laughs> so this this works for us. But yeah, I I think the thing is, but hey, you heard what he said. Being transparent, um, Will, Wilson just got a lot of experience in terms of what it takes to be the guy over the course of twelve months cal of a twelve month calendar. And I just think that's something the younger guy Justin can learn from. But he didn't say Justin Fields is not going to have a chance to compete. He said yeah. when it comes to letting Justin the Fields know that he'll have a chance to compete mm-hmm. when they feel it's the time is right. And we know when the time would be right, when things aren't going well. When things aren't going well, uh, they're on a the skid offensively. They're on a the skid in losing games. Then they will obviously make a change. I mean, it's 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 common sense. We understand how that works when the yes. fans are when the fans are booing. Now, do yeah. I think it will get to that point? I doubt it. I doubt it because right now we already saw a clip of Russell Wilson doing exactly what he's already out there. He's already out there putting in the work, and I guarantee you, the receivers, the running backs on that team, he's in, he's got everybody' phone number, and at some point. The next thing we're going to see is a video of all them getting work in before they even go back to the offseason program. Yep. So though, yep. when it is time to get together in a structured environment as a team, they already had an eight ball. Yes. Be- because you, you look, there are certain things haven't had the relationship with a quarterback because this is new to them. Mm-hmm. I really didn't have to do a whole lot with John because I had spent five, six years with him. Right. So in the offseason, there's no need for us to work. Because he was far beyond that. He got four kids, young kids. <laughs> hey, hey, he got time, that, he got time for nah, that. Huh? Hell no. Nah. And I'm not <laughs> trying to spend any more time in Denver because when I was back in Denver, I didn't yeah. go back to Atlanta. When I went to Atlanta, I didn't go back to Denver back until to Denver. I absolutely had to. So right. it was like, man, whew, I can't wait. When I was up out of there, I was up out of there. But you have a general understanding of where he likes to put the ball. He has an understanding of where you like the ball, where you, how mm-hmm. you like to catch the ball, mm-hmm. give you an opportunity to protect yourself, because mm-hmm. that's all I've asked any quarterback that I play with, Ocho, is that let, allow me to protect myself. Right. I understand that there are going to be times, of, hey, it's not like he's playing in a, in a phone booth that mm-hmm. he's protected and the elements are not on him, rain, wind, snow, whatever the case may be. Right. But just give me an opportunity, if you possibly can, now, if you're getting taken one to the chops, hey, it is what it is. And that's what the understanding is. But I, I, I commend Russ uh, and these guys that go to different teams mm-hmm. and they get bring the receivers in and you got an understanding of how they run the routes, the mm-hmm. timing of the route. Now, you know it's a little different, Ocho, because ain't nobody air. You get yeah. a free release. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody putting hands on you, right, anything right. like that. Ain't nobody, ain't no uh, uh, D-lineman just beat the offensive lineman clean and now you got to run for your life. Everything mm-hmm. is perfect. But right. you kind of get a general sense of how he runs the route and the timing and what's the timing going to be three step, five step. Very few teams take seven steps now because everybody's in the gun. So yeah. basically, take three of the hop and you yeah. let the ball go. Right. Oh, yeah. So what's your, you good? You want to add anything else to that? No, 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 no. I didn't say my piece. I didn't say my piece. <laughs> <laughs> 